Number 12, what is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to y equal 2x plus 13 and passes through 8, negative 4? So this is my slope, and I want it to be perpendicular, so I'm going to do the opposite reciprocal, which would be negative 1 half. So this is going to be my slope, this is going to be my x, and this is going to be my y. Now then I'm going to write down point slope and put the blanks. So I'm going to put a y here, an m here, and an x here. So basically it's y minus y1 equals m, right? So draw your blanks. You're going to put y, m, and x. My y is negative 4. My m is negative 1 half. And my x is 8. So the two negatives here are going to turn into a positive. The negative 1 half you're going to distribute. You'll get negative 1 half x. And then negative 1 half times negative 8 is a positive 4 in it. Half of 8 is 4, and I have two negatives, so it turns into a positive. I'm going to move the 4 over, and I'll get y equals negative 1 half x. And if I put 8 in here, I will get negative 4 as my answer. So this is the equation of the line that's perpendicular to it. And number 13, what is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to 7x minus 8y equal 12 and passes through negative 3 comma 1? This is my x. This is my y. I don't know my slope. So this is in standard form, and i got to switch it to y equal mx plus b. So I'm going to move over the 7x. Negative 8y equals negative or 7x plus 12. You're going to add the 7x across, aren't you? Then divide everything by negative 8. You would get y equals negative 7 over 8x minus 1 and 5 tenths, or 3 over 2. Now, the, this is my slope, but I want it to be perpendicular. So I'm going to do the opposite reciprocal, and that's going to turn into 8 over 7. Wow. Okay. So let's write down y blank equals blank, or y minus blank equals blank, parentheses x minus blank. This is going to be a big fraction here. Okay, so we're going to replace our y with 1, and our x with negative 3, and our slope is 8 over 7. So y minus 1 equals 8 over 7x plus 24 over 7. If you multiply 3 times 8 over 7, you get 24 over 7. And the two negatives will make a positive. Then I'm going to move the 1 across. y equals 8 over 7x plus 24 over 7 plus 1. That 1 is going to turn into 7 over 7 in it. To get a common denominator, so the final answer will be y equal 8 over 7x plus 31 over 7. And if we plugged in negative 3, we would get negative 24 over 7 plus 37 over 7, which would be 1. This checks out. That is a big fractional answer there.